Hi, welcome to this video. We are on 6.0.7 now and we have uh, made a tutorial about how to install VMware on Arch Labs. We installed Solus Budgie in the idea that we'll have in phase 3 an Arch merged Budgie. So Budgie is a desktop environment and you can install it on Arch Linux. Let's do another one. I want to know if I can also install and uh, if we can install Arch Merge on our system. And I've downloaded already two ISOs, the one from Arch Merged and the one from Arch Merge. Let's do the bigger one first. Could not detect which one it is. I'll tell you, my friend, it's Linux, that's correct. And we have no Arch. We did have Arch, if I, my memory serves me right. Of virtual box anything really goes um, last time I took this one so this time I'll take uh, this one I don't think it matters only as long as you take 64 bits and that's it so the only thing that happens is he copy pastes the name over and that's that arch merge next 20 gigabytes more than enough finish close we have our system here and it's starting to boot already but that's a bit fast my friend uh, so stop again I'm gonna make it a bit bigger it's always it, you can do it here as well but it takes some practice here it's easier so I go I'll tend to go up here and say look make it a bit bigger and edit it first since we are having 16 gigs I am not afraid to give you eight of it. Processors, one processor, but we have four of them, so we can give half of them to this one. I guess this is the right setting. I tried that as well in uh, last installation. Nothing went wrong, so I'm keeping that. And um, there was a problem with, uh, drive, with the, the network. Used to share the host IP address, connect directly. Gonna try this one this time. Okay. And then sound card, blah, blah, blah printer, whatever, USB control and display. We could, if we want to game, we could do this one. And graphics memory is always very low. Save. So that's that. And now we can start up Arch Merge. Could not connect, more information can be found. We'll start disconnected. It's not available. A lot of things that I still have to figure out in VMware. But it's, this, it's just a test to see if everything boots. So you have to be inside the window and then you can press enter. To return to the computer, press Ctrl Alt. There, my mouse is again. This is quite normal, guys. So, fail to start load kernel modules. Well, actually, it's not normal. It's a uh, virtual box uh, driver that's trying to be is trying to be loaded, and in VMware, it will say, "Uh, uh, what's this?" Let's see if we can fix the resolution. It's always the same. It was the same with uh, Solus as well, uh, but we do know now where we can set it. So let's take something that's appropriate for my screen. Close. That's a bit too big, this thing here now. Ah, that's normal. So this is better already, but still I have this little piece down here. So I'm gonna figure it out again, display is the word you need to remember um, so maybe I better take this one let's take try that one yeah that's better for beaming or beaming or uh, this tutorial I guess ah, there it is yeah so uh, you have four desktops that are down here one two three four uh, actually monitors four monitors you have four workspaces and it's in here that's where I should be 
and do the thing you always do and that's install we all install the same way maybe maybe just maybe I should install something else this time and see how it looks Greek is not my thing um, we have a lot of people from France let's take one that's in French Bienvenue dans l'installateur, the Arch Merch. All right, thanks. Suivant. I will keep my own uh, Belgian keyboard, which is Acerti. Effacer le disque. Ceci va effacer toutes les données. All right, go and get rid of it. Quel est votre nom, Eric? Ça va. And then Arch Merch. And as you can see, maybe people have installed 6.0 already. I've changed a little bit things here. Demarrer la session sans demander le mot de passe means start the session without asking the password. So yeah, I do like that one. And utilisez les mêmes mots de passe pour la compte administrateur. So ask the same password for the administrator. So use the same password for Eric and for the root account. That's the easiest way to do it. I like easy. There you go. So everything seems to work on VMware. We'll put uh, later on. Um, how can I use my time? In the mean, how can I use it to, to tell you something or show you something? We could uh, quickly show you control. When I press control, left control, right mouse click, we get these preferences. And we can put it on the top and then we can have a, a thing down there, up there, up there, down there. <laughs> Sounds like Ahmed. The dead terrorist, do you remember? We can go over some looks. If I have the time, I'll check my hundred others. Yeah, I have a hundred um, more of these things. So themes, it's quite easy to make a theme. You can follow the tutorial on aerodeport.pe. There is a tutorial about how to make your own um, plank theme, but there are hundreds of them. So github.com slash Then use the search because there are about 90 githubs and type in plank and you'll see, and you can just copy paste them on the right spot. And that's it. What is the right spot? Good question. Let's take a look. Control H. There, I have to think it's that one or that one. Love Murphy. I'm gonna take the wrong one. <laughs> Share. Plank themes. Yep, <laughs> it still works. The law of Murphy. So comfy. Da -da -da -da. Plank. Oh no, it's not installed. Oh yeah, sure. I've put it in a nice little package for you kind of guy, you guys. So it's not in our local thing, but it's in our user share place. And here you have the packages. I used to have them in the personal folders, but now since it's a package, it's going to be here, user share blank themes. So 19 items, so it's okay, 19 items but there are 100 items uh, in total and we can have those as well it's just installing it and, uh, from github and then you put it in the folders that just show you shown you so the home directory folders now we can put anything we want so bienvenue la collection clavier partitions oui. partition probably utilisateur résumé installé terminé on doit terminer Dus redamere means just restart again and terminé is finished. Before we... Okay, nice. The ISO is popped out and we are straight away in the system. In our hard disk. So these red things won't go away. That's nice to know. Let's take a look at that while that is. I have this little program that says, was it detect? Oh, what was the name again? I 
difficult because we start with phi i it doesn't, doesn't um, then text or something no okay I have to figure out what name of the program that was again anyway my display sucks again display I have this in English <laughs> display is English Ecran, uh, quelque chose comme ça. Nope. Let's go and just take a look at our affichage. That's it. All right. We're learning new words. Uh, I think this was the good one. Applique is apply. And now it's applied. It's so big now. It's still a little bit too big for me. So affichage, voila. And then, did we use this one then? Fermé. Still a little bit up here, but it's good enough for me. So everything works. The best thing to do, of course, is, is get your own um, display here to get your, uh, I mean, your, your actual resolution. And then go to this button here, and oh, no, this button, and the full screen mode. So you see the whole thing, and that will be the best thing to perceive. This is red, meaning we don't have internet. Uh, I don't know really what and when and how. I mean, something must be uh, set here at the hardware or the settings level here somewhere down there. Virtual network, maybe preferences, view somewhere we need to set it but everything looks good so check arch uh, merch can be installed on uh, vmware and you can try it out that's the goal of our tutorial that's enough for me for now enjoy